The southern United States, like creeping creatures from a monster movie, tens of thousands wreak devastation. And these menacing mobs may be here to stay. An insect superspecies, red imported fire ants. Fire ant encounters are very, very common. More common than bee, wasp, yellow jacket, and hornet. Meet a minuscule assassin. Fire ants can carry 10 times their own weight. That's like a 150 pound person lifting a barbell, weighing three quarters of a ton. But what makes fire ants so dangerous are their numbers. Queens can lay over a thousand new eggs each day, leading monstrous insect battalions to total destruction. These invading insects first arrived in the 1940s from South America, carried aboard infested ships. Soon, they were unstoppable. For decades, people waged war with pesticides. Survivors were tenacious. In six months, a colony might grow to over 200,000, infesting dirt mounds like a living landmine. And when it comes to the kill, they use terrifying teamwork. Here, a baby chick meets a gruesome fate. Fire ant jaws latch onto flesh and drive in a burning, toxic abdominal stinger. The pain so severe, it feels like being set on fire. And in humans, a chance encounter with a mob can quickly become an engulfing horror. Allergic stings may require amputation or induce anaphylactic shock. We see many, many more problems and serious reactions and even deaths in one year from fire ants than we would see over a decade from uh, venomous snakes. But a few years ago, scientists found a new combatant, fire ant versus forward fly. These flies are like little guided missiles, uh, biological smart bombs. They're specific to imported fire ants, and that's the only kind of uh, organism that they're going to be able to attack. It's gross, but it works. A fly lands on the fire ant, laying an egg. The egg turns into an ant-eating maggot. A slow but effective kill. And the first sign of hope to fighting one of nature's most feared and fiery invaders. <laughs> 